Good morning. Hello. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook, and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for this weekend. That's the 9th and the 10th of December. So I trust this message finds you well and you've been flowing well this week um, and that you're finally getting some sleep if you've been quite sleep deprived earlier on in the week. I trust that you're now um, managing to find some sleep and things are flowing okay. Good morning, Dina and Emmy. Hi, Summer. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Dina. Dina likes my top, she says. Thanks, Dina. This is new. Hi, Lisa, Michelle, Wendy. Miriam's here from New York. It's going to snow tomorrow, she says. Hi, Raven. Hi, Shelley. Hi, Christine from Cornwall. Trudy says good morning. Tammy says happy weekend, everyone. Thanks, Tammy. Hi, Valentina. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Cassandra and Anne-Marie. Hi, Matt. Hi, Yvette. Lovely to see you all. Hi, Mary Ann. And Shane's here. Everyone's here by the look of it. So thank you for saying hello. Hi, Ad Adonis. Lovely to see you. So if you're, well, actually first an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards. And I'm going to be pulling one card for Saturday, one card for Sunday, and one card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So thank you. Take on board what feels right for you, what resonates, what makes sense and let the rest go. Um, just think of this as a guide only and we'll see what comes up. Um, I think that's all I need to say. Let's, let's go. Let's get into it. So I'm looking for the best card for Saturday the 9th of December. So if it's not Saturday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance. Um, and if you want to find the guidance for Friday, just look back at my uh, last video. So Saturday, let's just take some nice deep breaths. Um, please join me. I won't be talking. I'm going to take three nice deep breaths and just center myself and just um, bring my focus back to my body and back to my breath. It's a great thing to do every day um, if we can. So... joined in it's lovely to do no I don't have a cold I've just got allergies um, it's that time of the year <laughs> so if I sound a bit nasally it's because I I have allergies like a lot of us humans do <laughs> am I pregnant <laughs> um, I'm not sure Emily I don't do those sorts of uh, readings anyway so I guess you will find out eventually okay <laughs> Let's look for the best card for Saturday the 9th of December. I trust it will find its way to the top of the deck um, based on the way I pull the cards and that it will be the most helpful card for the majority of us at this time. So Saturday the 9th of December, the best card is this. Ah, oh, we've got card 35 called Support. And the key words say comfort, loved ones, reassurance. If you've been thinking about um, your loved ones or a, a specific loved one in spirit in this last day or so, then this is a confirmation that they are around. It's just starting to rain. 
um, it's a confirmation that they are around and they love you very much and they're coming in close to your energy, um, close to your body, close to your space. So feel their love and support coming in around you. You don't need to second guess or even seek confirmation that it was them. If it feels like it's them, you can trust that. So allow it to nourish and comfort your heart, especially if you're grieving at this time. Um, for those of us who aren't in that sort of space, this card brings a lot of comfort and reassurance that we're on track, that things are working out. So this implies that we may feel on Saturday um, doubtful within ourselves, doubtful within our path and where we are in our life. We may be questioning some recent decisions or recent things that we've done. Um, so this is coming in just to remind us that we are being supported during this time, especially on Saturday. Um, if we're feeling or wondering if we've done the right thing or also if we've been feeling alone or if we feel a bit alone on Saturday. So keep affirming that you're safe, you're protected, you're comforted, you're supported. Keep reassuring yourself that you are where you need to be and that everything's going to work out just fine. So um, that's the comfort card for Saturday, implying that we may not feel very comfortable on uh, Saturday. This keeps freezing, does it? Looks okay from this end, so I'm just going to keep going. If it does drop quickly, I, I'll soon, I will come back in. And I'll just put that up a wee bit. Okay, so I'm now looking for the best card for Sunday, the 10th of December. The cat is here, she's just laying here purring at my knee, looking out to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. And she cracks me up when, you know, I look out the window and see what she's up to and she's sitting outside just staring at the fence <laughs> or staring out into nothing. And you just, um, they always seem to be kind of meditating or um, in some type of zone, personal zone, these um, cats. So, Sunday the 10th of December, I trust the best card is this. For Sunday the 10th, it's here. Ooh, we've got the Cobra Bite card. This is a featured card which we're going to follow. And the um, we're going to follow these instructions here, which say to draw the top card in the deck to go with that card, which is another featured card. So this says breathe deeply and choose a random card. So I'm just going to go with this card. Oh, we've got the Temple of Maya again. This is interesting. Okay, so we've got all these cards for Sunday. So they've come up together for a reason. We're going to look at the, them separately and then we're going to look at their relationship together. So let's have a look at Cobra Bite. Card 9 talks about sting, shock, truth, illusion. This card does tend to come up when there's some type of surprise or shock shock sounds very devastating so we'll say a surprise event may take us by surprise <laughs> on this Sunday but because we've because we have this um, card that's come up and those of us that are connecting with this um, we might may not be as surprised as we could have been if we didn't know so I've seen this card come up um, for surprise things that are in the positive and surprise things that are more in the negative but whatever the surprise is it's about um, I want to say shocking us, but that just sounds extremely heavy. Uh, surprising us back into truth and clearing us or shifting us further away from illusion and further into the truth of who we are and the truth of certain situations and people in our life. So whatever happens um, for those of us that may be affected by some type of surprise, on Sunday, let's do our best to step back from the illusion of it and look at the truth in the situation and look at how we can move on and how we can deal with the things that are being presented rather than assume or ex um, expect or anticipate um, what the next information might be. Let's just run with the facts as they're presented instead of getting too far ahead of ourselves. So this is quite a surprising, um, impactful uh, energy that's coming in for Sunday. So let's not be scared. Let's not hold fear in our heart for this, but let's just ride the wave and see where this takes us as it's going to align us further with the truth of who we are. 
The second card that came with this group is Sensuality card 46. And the keywords say love, breath, relationship, and passion. So this talks about breathing passion and love and life back into ourselves and into our life again. It talks about reviving ourselves. There's this sense of revival, this sense of recharge. But it will most likely come back to our breathing. So it might sound very simple and basic. But taking some really big deep breaths and breathing life back into ourselves, breathing oxygen and allowing it to fill up our body instead of just breathing sort of unconsciously in really shallow breaths. Let's on Sunday, especially if we're inspired to, focus on taking some really nice deep big breaths and stopping a few times through the day. We may even want to set our alarm like an hourly or something to remind us to stop right now, take 20 or 30 seconds just to draw a few really deep breaths and just see how we feel with that. And as we breathe in, let's breathe in the life force, the passion, the love that's available to us. And let's let go as we breathe out of all the old air and the old stuff that's been flattening us. This is a very favourable day as well for nurturing and nourishing relationships, our love relationships, and also increasing our um, love for ourselves. So I see sensuality as being a, a deepening of our ability to love ourselves, loving and accepting who we are on a deeper level. So what does sensuality mean to you? What does it mean for you to be a sensual being and not sexual? I'm talking about sensual, about um, defining that and perhaps considering what does that mean for you and how can you be that within yourself and within your relationships and within your life? What brings you passion? What brings you joy? What wakes you up and helps you feel revived and alive and um, eager to or motivated or enthusiastic about your day or your moments or the interactions that you're having at the time. So it's quite a deep, beautiful sense of love that's flowing in as well for Sunday, which is a really beautiful card to bring in with this guy that's quite intense. So the other card that came up came up in the last reading, and it's card 51 called Temple of Maya. And the key words say manifestation, revelation, and purpose. So this talks about manifesting something on Sunday, bringing something that we've wanted into form, or um, perhaps we've had a date set for something that we've, we've been wanting to do that's coming up on Sunday. So there's something about a manifestation of something that we've wanted, something that we've been thinking about, um, that's coming through for some of us for Sunday. There's also a new sense of purpose that comes in with this card. So helping us, oh, this sense that we are feeling like we belong, like um, there's a sense of purpose to our lives and to us being here is coming through with this card as well. And of course, like I said in the last video, it also talks about reading, uh, readings, what the heck would I say that? <laughs> He talks about buildings and structures and um, if you're planning or intending on going to visit some building or be somewhere in, in a, a special sacred building or there's changes around your home, then this would also be um, part of this card. So let's just have a quick look at these guys together and see what we need to share about this. So it feels like there's probably going to be some type of surprise happening that's going to align us further with our truth for some of us around our relationships so around a special sacred relationship that we have and there's something about this that's going to help us feel a deeper sense of purpose and manifest change and love and truth into our lives um, at a deeper level than we may have experienced before both of these cards sorry both of these cards actually <laughs> uh, both of these cards are quite deep so this one's strong and quite piercing. This one's strong but quite fluid and um, more like a, a fluid energy that's coming in strongly, like a really strong aurora that may be happening around us or above us. So these are both quite deep and quite intense but in different ways. And this is quite a deep card as well. So it feels like a deepening 
of our truth, a deepening of our connection to love others, love ourselves, love our life on Sunday and a real sense of manifesting this as change. So it feels quite tangible what we're going to be wanting or what we're going to be doing or focusing on on uh, Sunday. So we might find it quite a productive day as well. Um, we may be quite motivated. So that's the guidance for Sunday, my beautiful people. I trust it makes sense for you. Before I read the theme card, I just want to point out um, because I get lots of emails from people and from businesses wanting me, wanting to pay me to talk about their product or their service or whatever that their website or whatever they do because they see that I've got quite a lot of people on my Facebook page and quite a lot of people that connect with my videos. I just want to point out one, if you're wanting me to, um, if you're wanting to pay me to to advertise your stuff, I don't do that. Um, I feel that this space is a space that I've created based on my truth and my way and what works for me. And a big part of that is that I don't share other people's stuff. I don't. It's not that I, I don't agree with it, but I keep this clean for my stuff at Temple of Balance. If you want to go seeking out other people's stuff, then that's up to them to find a way to share that in their, in their way. Um, and I certainly will never take any money to advertise anyone's things or anyone's product or anyone's website. So I keep this, uh, it's really important to me to keep this authentic as a Temple of Balance. So you will never see me promoting anyone else's stuff. Um, unless it's something that I'm, um, I'm using myself that I want to share because I want to share it and I'm not getting paid for it. So I just want to point that out. If you're watching this and thinking about getting something together for me to advertise for you, I don't do that. And for those of you who enjoy this safe space, know that I don't have an agenda except to be here to help you and to share what's true to me. And I would never jeopardize that. So um, I just want to make that point at this time. So thank you. It is important to me and um, it may be important to you too. And I really value this space and your being here very, very deeply. And I would never, I would never, um, I would never, what would you say? I can't even think of the word right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you can feel what I'm saying. So thank you. Now I'm looking for the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. And the theme card I think of as helping us um, bring these days together and helping us see the common thread or the bigger picture for Saturday and Sunday. So this will give us an idea of what the theme is. And Puss is sitting here. I don't think you can quite see her. She's looking up that way. Probably considering going inside because I think it's going to come over and rain again. It's quite um, windy here and interesting weather. So the theme card, I trust, the best one is this. Ha! That card sticking out was the Cobra, if you're interested. Oh, we've got another featured card. So we're going to follow this, draw the bottom card from the deck. This. Okay, these are the cards for the theme, which are these guys. So again, we're going to look at these separately and then we're going to look at their relationship together. Why they've come up for, um, they've come up for a reason. Turtle Dreaming talks about getting serious, clarification, concentrate and specific. This guy means business and he wants us to get serious. He has attitude. He wants to, us to get serious about our dreams this weekend. So he's carrying the dream catcher on his back. Um, so he's carrying, he's got this mission, almost like he's got to carry this dream catcher or his dreams, his goals um, to their destination, if you like. So this card's coming up because he wants us to get serious this weekend about our dreams and our goals and to stop putting things off and to really just um, put our heels in and get focused and get going with the things that we've been putting off, the things that we need to do and trust what motivates us and what inspires us um, over the weekend. Now this other card here is integration, card 19 and the keywords say settling, grounding, nature and calm. 
he talks about um, talks about the changes that we've been feeling and experiencing on subtle levels, the um, sleep stuff that we've been going through, and the other um, energetic changes, the um, changes in the air that a lot of us have been feeling, the shift that I talked about in the last video that a lot of us sensitives are feeling um, of the shift in ourselves between the dark and more light coming into our very cells. So all this change that's been unsettling us and scattering us and um, effect, uh, causing us not to sleep or being a part of um, us not being able to sleep, I feel over the weekend is going to start to integrate and anchor into our body and into our life. So we may in general feel a bit slow moving, um, and we can still be productive and slow moving, but we might find that we're feeling less restless and less scattered and starting to feel a little bit more connected to our bodies, um, to nature. We may be called to spend some time outside under the sun, the stars, the moon, in the wind, out at our favourite park or nature place. And all of this calling is helping us to ground and integrate the energy and the changes that um, have been coming in in these, like, this last week or so. So I think of this energy of anchoring or integration as like a leaf unpinning from the tree and it drops, if we could slow motion it, down to the ground where it settles and finds its place. And this is what a lot of this scattered, unruly... Um, um, Oh, the first one I want to say is agitated um, energy has been doing. So it's been kind of ruffling our feathers um, and uh, bringing up this feeling of restlessness. But there's this sense over the weekend that that's going to start to settle. So let's take some deep breaths over this weekend. Let's spend some time in nature if we're inspired to. Um, we may find that getting serious about our goals and our dreams and what we want in our life may also be quite grounding and help us calm down and settle um, within our bodies, within our the moment and within our life. So um, getting serious about our dreams and perhaps writing them down, considering them, may help us ground and anchor this energy. So interesting. And let's welcome calm in. Sometimes... You know, the energy shifts all the time. And sometimes when we've been feeling agitated or like we're climbing the walls, restless, sometimes we continue to hold ourselves in that space just with our mindset. So let's be open to the energy softening and settling and calming down over the weekend and ensure or be aware that we're not um, holding the restlessness in place by continuing to think and say that I'm still not getting any sleep or um, why aren't things working out for me or, um, you know, they're not very good examples. <laughs> Oh, but I kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, I could feel it. I'm just trying to explain it in a bit of a better way, but perhaps I don't need to. So just watch and be aware of your mindset to make sure that you are allowing yourself to calm down and, <laughs> and for the energy to settle and anchor for you. So I trust that makes sense and um, works out and supports your weekend. So thank you. These cards come to you from my Speed of Light Oracle cards, which are available now on my website if you want to learn more about them. Just visit um, templeofbalance.com.au. If you want to learn more about the work that I do, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. I've got a couple of decks of cards out. I've written 10 or 11 books, um, in, all independently released. I've got pendants and crystals, meditations, um, artwork, ceramics, lots of different things if you're inspired to if you're inspired by my work and you'd like to support it or you'd like to connect deeper with it then um, I invite you to have a look on my website so thank you so much for connecting if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button please show us some love please comment or share if you're inspired to and if you'd like to connect more privately just send us a message through our website so I think that's all I need to say. Have a fantastic weekend. Sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. And thank you for being who you are. I trust this is a calming, loving, 
beautiful weekend for you. So enjoy each precious moment because they are precious. Time is something we're never going to get back. So let's enjoy each moment, even if we're waiting, even if we're feeling restless, even if we're feeling um, overwhelmed with mood or emotion. Um, let's embrace all these different moments and all these different experiences that we're so lucky to receive and um, be a part of in this lifetime, even the ones that feel challenging. Because as we embrace those challenging moments, I've found that we actually move out of them quicker. The more we resist and go, no, stay away from me, um, challenge, or, or why am I experiencing this heavy, dense, intense emotion again and again and again? If you can, in, instead of pushing away from it and resisting it, see if next time you feel something intense that you can embrace it. See what happens. Can you embrace that intense feeling? Can you embrace that challenge and look at, okay, how can I problem solve this? How can I work my way through it? How can I support myself through this heavy emotional time? And you'll probably find that you move through it quicker. So next time you're challenged and you're wanting to, you know, step back, resist. No, I, I'm a wanted to avoid this, you know, fingers in the ears. Um, see if you can soften that and embrace it and see what happens and see if it works for you. It's quite exciting. I love the, uh, the the vast stuff that we can experience in these moments, from the intense emotions to the driving passion, to the calm, the observation and the joy, the gratitude. There's so much to enjoy. We're so lucky to be here right now. So um, I trust that's a bit helpful for you. So thank you for connecting and have a fantastic weekend. I will do my best to be back to share with you on Monday. Um, sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Namaste. And namaste means that the divine, the creator within me, honours and acknowledges the divine, the creator within you. That we are equal, we are one. So thank you so much for being who you are. And I'll connect with you again soon. I'll read all of your message too. And I'll get back on my computer in just a moment or two. So thank you. Namaste. Thank you.